Hi everyone and welcome to Little Saints. This is the 32nd Sunday of the year and today we're going to be talking about being ready. So being ready for Jesus when he returns. It's easy to be ready for something to happen when we know the day and the time to expect it. Today Jesus explains that we must always be ready for his return even though no one knows when he'll be coming. So we're going to start by lighting our candle. And by making the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Close your eyes and listen to this prayer as you say I'm sorry quietly in your heart. Jesus, open our hearts and make us more loving. Help us to change our ways and make a fresh start. If we have hurt you or other people by being unkind or selfish, we ask for your forgiveness. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So today we're going to be watching a video on the gospel according to Matthew chapter 25 verses 1 to 13. And uh, while you're watching that video, I want you to think about the question, how can we keep ourselves ready for when Jesus returns? So go ahead and click on the link uh, to the video in the description box below. And when you're finished, come back and we can discuss that. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, so before you went to watch the video, I wanted you to think about the question, how can we keep ourselves ready for when Jesus returns? So if we can live each day as well as possible and make each day our best, then we will always be ready to greet Jesus when he comes. By trying to be good and to live as Jesus taught us, we will be like the wise bridesmaids who kept their lamps burning and be ready for Jesus when he comes. So basically what that means is we have to do some simple things every day um, that will prepare us for when Jesus is coming. So for example, being on your best behavior, um, whether you're at home, whether you're at school, um, you know, mom and dad need help around the house, or if they ask you to take care of a sibling, that you are always willing to, um, you know, to help out and to not complain about it. Also, just by being kind, being kind to everyone, being kind to um, to your family, to your friends. If you go out to the store, if you go anywhere in public, being kind to the strangers. Um, you know, we, we don't know when Jesus is coming back, but he is going to be coming back. And those are some simple things that we can do every day so that we are ready for him when he comes back. All right, so for your activity today, you guys are going to be making lamps. So I'm gonna hold this up here, see if you can see it. So a link to uh, to your lamp is gonna be in the description box, so click on that. And what you can do first is color it, make it look beautiful. When you're done that, you can cut out your lamp and also you can cut out this rectangle part at the top here separately. Uh, once you have both of these these pieces cut out, you can go ahead and you can cut out this little rectangle here. And what you can do is you just have to assemble it like the little picture here. So maybe ask mom and dad for help. Um, but basically you just take the rectangle and you weave it through the box. And you can have your lamp either um, lit, so you can show the flame in the window here, or you can just have the wick. So our goal is to have the flame showing in the lamp. We want to show that we are ready for Jesus, that we are being kind, that we are on our best behavior, and then your um, your light will always be lit and you'll be ready for when Jesus returns. Okay? Um, and again, we'd love to see your lamps when you're done. So you can, um, if you want, you can take a picture of it and you can send it into the church and we would just love to see that. All right, so we are going to close with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord Jesus, we know that one day you will return, and we will be with you in heaven. Help us to make each day our best, so that we will always be ready to greet you when you come. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. It was so nice 
being with you guys today. Happy Sunday, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.